Quidditch is a co-ed sport that was originated from J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. The positions of the team consist of keeping, chasing, beating, and seeking. Chasing consists of running around the field, trying to score goals like Quaffle. If you think of it kind of like soccer, but with your hands. The keeper is essentially the goalie that is allowed to drive balls, but he's allowed to do, um, he's allowed to protect the hoops a lot more than a lot of the other players. Beaters are different, like more defensive form of the team. And they have bludgers in which they use to beat opposing um, members in order to allow their teams to score easier. The other position is seeking. We have two seekers on our team that are really good, but um, it comes with being lanky, quick, and having to basically wrestle a guy in a pair of shorts in order to get a tennis ball that's hanging on the back of the shorts. It sounds really funny, but it's probably one of the most intense game parts of the game. Compared to the Harry Potter sport that J.K. Rowling wrote about, um, it's evolved into a legitimate contact sport. We run around on PVC pipes, which sounds really dorky, and every time we get new players, the first three days are super awkward. It's not like you're used to running around with a PVC pipe between your legs and being aware of it. But other than that, it's been pretty consistent to the game. We throw balls rather than them zooming around. Other than that, um, yeah, we've just evolved the game to like incorporate the stylistic um, elements that J.K. Rowling uses in her books, but yeah. It's a competitive sport, but like one of our main points for our team is that we're not gonna be one of those teams where we're so caught up in being competitive and winning that we're gonna let somebody not play. It's about everybody having fun, we're a family, and like at the end of the day, winning, losing, we love doing this sport. Seahawks fly together on three. One, two, three. Seahawks fly together!